Hey cats, what's happening? Welcome to the man cave once again. Before I get started today, I just wanted to uh, give thanks to those who put together that uh, VFW poker run last week that V and I went on. Um, it turned out to be a very successful event. I think with uh, all of the riders and passengers that went on the run and, and uh, came to about 56 people that actually went on the ride, uh, and then there was a lot of others who showed up, you know, for the meal and for the band afterwards, so uh, it's pretty incredible. Now, the, the, the amazing thing was the donations were substantial. Um, the donations are going to go to the family of Maxton Soviak, the t-shirt that I have up on the wall there. Um, I'm very honored to have that t-shirt. And, you know, that t-shirt means more to me than... Uh, you know, just the 13 that we lost in Afghanistan. My son served in Iraq in the 82nd Airborne as a paratrooper. And uh, he came back with some wounds. So I honor the veterans. Uh, I mean, we just, can't, we just can't thank them enough, and especially those who gave their lives for uh, battling for our country. It just means so much, and I'm really honored to have that t-shirt up on the wall there. Um, the proceeds of the poker run are going to go to the Soviak family. Uh, they made, a, like I said, a pretty substantial amount of donations. Thanks to all those who donated. Um, uh, some of them were anonymous donations, and uh, it's just incredible how much people really care about our vets and uh, the families of those who've lost uh, loved ones in service. Anyway, aside from that, uh, I've been busy this week. You know, we like to go camping, and our last couple camping trips that we went on, uh, we had full hookups. So when I have a full hookup, I hook the hose up to the city water connection to the there's all usually a water riser you know pretty close to within where where our site is and I'll just run the hose and hook it up there and then you just turn the water on at the water riser and boom you got water you know you turn your faucet on you got water um, if they if we do get a site though that doesn't have water hookup I have to fill up the water tank and I use this uh, connection here. Uh, I put my hose on there and I fill up the water tank and I think it holds about 50 gallons. So when we don't use the water tank, like I said, the last couple trips we did were full hookups. So the water tank had been drained, but there was still some you know, residual water laying in the bottom of the tank. And being that as hot as it's been this summer, the stuff goes stagnant in there. So if I was to uh, go on another camping trip where I needed water, I'd fill up that tank and it would smell awful because of the residual, you know, sludge that was left in there all summer, just rotting. So I have to rinse it out. And usually what I do then, I'll run the hoses from the house and I pour some bleach into the hose and then turn the water on and it'll fill the tank up 50 gallons of water with the bleach solution. And I'll let that sit and then I'll run it through the lines through the faucets and the shower head and everything to make sure everything's flushed out and I get all that stagnant water out of there, you know, and get some nice fresh chlorine water in there. And I'll let that sit for a day and then I drain it all out. Well, I thought, you know, that's right, our next camping trip we're not going to have a water hookup. We're going to need to fill the water tank on the Hemi. So I dragged the hoses out and uh, I thought I'm going to flush the system out, which I did. I, I put the chlorine solution there, filled it up and let it sit for a day. And when I turned the water pump on, nothing happened. I turned the faucets on, there was a, uh, just drip, drip, drip. So something wasn't right so I messed around with it now in the in an RV trailer in this particular one the uh, water pump is underneath 
this panel underneath the bathroom sink. So I pulled the panel off and uh, messed around with the water pump and I couldn't get it to pump water. Obviously it was shot. <sighs> Never had to deal with that before. Uh, but I called the uh, local RV dealer and they said they had them in stock. Come down and get them. So I went down and I got a brand new water pump. And this is the old one that I pulled out. Uh, there's really not it's just a small thing, you know, got a little motor and a pump on there, uh, two wires. So lucky for me, it was an easy swap out. I guess it, uh, I guess you could call it like a plug and play. You have two uh, hose connections here, in and out, and then you've got a, a couple of wires to to hook up. I think the hardest part of the whole swap was, you know, there's four mounting screws in the base. I had a screwdriver and I was really cranking on those things to get it out and you're working in really tight quarters under the bathroom sink too so I got that switched out and then I turned the water pump on went over to the faucet turned the water on hey I got water again running water yay so we're all ready for the next camping trip you know, I hate when things like that happen. And it's a good thing I checked it. If I would have waited until we were ready to go camping and found out that uh, the water pump wasn't working, I would have been panicked. <laughs> How do you go camping without any water? Anyway, that job done. The next dreaded job that I had to do was uh, that gutter up on the top of the roof there. Right over the picture window, it had a big sag in it. The uh, spikes that hold the gutter to the fascia had all pulled loose and it was sagging down. I don't know about you, but I hate heights. And uh, that's not as bad as the ladders. I, I hate the ladders. Especially when you're transitioning from the ladder onto the roof, when you gotta climb off the ladder and get on the roof. Or worse yet, come off the roof and get on the ladder and come down. I'm too old for that stuff. Um, but I had to set my ladder up. I tied the ladder off so it was safe. Got up on the porch roof there and I was able to uh, hang that gutter back up where it's supposed to be. It's not perfect and it doesn't have to be because we're going to get some new gutters put on the house with the uh, leaf guards on them. To keep all the so I don't have to get up there and clean these dumb things all the time. <sighs> Aside from that, I got this side of the house logs uh, sealed with the uh, preservative. I got all the logs on this side of the house sealed with preservative. And I've got all the logs on the north side of the house sealed with preservative. And that still leaves the logs on the front porch. I still got to do that but it's in the shade, it's under the roof, and uh, I don't need a tall ladder to do that wall, so that should go pretty quick. So the next free day that I got, I'm gonna tackle that. And then the log preservatives will be done. Anyways, uh, we're planning to take a little ride tonight. If I can get V out on the bike, we're gonna run into town. A little uh, uh, bike night at the local dealership here. Stinger Harley Davidson. So we're going to ride up there, just see what's going on. They're supposed to have a band, some food, some vendors, just something, to, you know, a little short ride to take this evening, something fun to do. Because uh, we've been working all day today, and uh, now it's time for some play. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't, hit that thumbs up button. And thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button. Get subscribed. Stay in touch with our videos. We'd love to have you along for the run. Till next time, guys. Ride hard and die free.